okay guys welcome back to our channel so in our previous video we have created the org units now we will in this video we will be creating the jobs and positions so basically what is a job job is uh, basically which describes the position so for example job is a manager and positions are what kind of uh, manager he is whether he is a product manager project manager resource manager program manager so basically job describes the positions so now we will go to our sap screen so in this in our sap eg access screen we will go to human resources under human resources we have the organization management and now we have the organization plan under which we have the organization staffing so we can create the job and position by any of these ways through expert mode through simple maintainer so so in this video we will be creating <laughs> creating our job through expert mode and also the position so let's just go to this transaction po003 so we will not be providing any number so now we will be clicking on the object we will click on create so the job would be valid from 19 6 2022 31 12 9 so let's name this job as a manager you can see our job has been created okay now we have to create the relationships and the position so now we will go back and we will create the positions okay. so we will click on the position So we will remove this number but otherwise it may create a problem. So now we will go click on object. We will click on create. So just uh, let's just see what position we will be creating. We will be creating the PM as a application and uh, product manager as a position. Now we will click on save. Okay. So relationship type. So we will also be creating the relationship of this uh, uh, position. So we will be giving the organization unit name. So we will be creating this position under socket. Okay. So. So we will set the org unit and once we click on save the position will be created under the org unit socket. So now we will be creating a, a new position. Okay. So let's suppose the second position we are creating as resource manager. So Manager. Okay. So again, we will be creating this position under the org unit socket. So the relationship is maintained here as well. Okay. Now we will go back to slash n. So now if you want to see the structure, uh, we can go to simple maintenance or organization staffing. We will click on display. We will be opening our or unit socket. So you can see there is a or coming as socket. So we have also created the uh, position under the socket. So when you click on the staff assignments, you will be getting our position as product manager and resource managers. 
So these positions are coming under our ordinate and socket. So that's how our position has been created and we have also created our job. So guys, we have created the jobs, we have created the position and we have also maintained the position relationship. So now we will be maintaining the relationship of our job. Okay, so the job is automatically getting fast up. Now we will be creating the relationship for this job. Okay, so I will click on create. Okay, ID it is asking. Okay, so we have created from 19.6.2022. Okay, now, so first we will be creating a relationship of this job with this org unit. Or unit was of socket, so it has automatically fast up. So B07 starting requirement now we have created a relationship of our job with the or can it okay now we will be creating the relationship of our job with the position so here we so guys, we will be setting up the relationship of our uh, job description with the position. So uh, let's try with this resource manager position. And as you can see, there is a resource manager. Click on save. Okay, now just close this screen. Now you can see the your unit under which we have created the two positions now when i click on as you can see in the below below here below position the product manager there is no job assigned but we have set the relationship of our resource manager with the job manager so thanks for watching our video bye bye take care